Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have another amazing design prepped and laying on the table saw in front of me, and it comes from an older issue of Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine by Fox Chapel Publishing. The issue in question is Fall 2018, issue 72. For those curious, this magazine is always packed with amazing full size patterns for scroll saw woodworking, and the design we're going to do today is located on page 50, and it's called a friendly fish tank. Now, you guys know I have a tropical fish aquarium they're so relaxing to look at and also anytime I'm near water a lake a river a pond I always feel more at peace and at ease with myself so I thought this would be a great project to have out here in the workshop where I ain't got to worry about changing water or anything the design is by Dan Wilkins and it depicts two styles of it there is one at the top made out of exotic and hardwoods it looks really really beautiful and exquisite and everything but then at the bottom here showing versatility of a pattern they have one that is also painted and that is the route we're going to be going with there is a lot Lot of parts in this project for this pattern as I said everything is prepped and laying in front of me on the table saw the full size patterns are available in the full pattern pullout section and there you see the majority of them and I had to photocopy it several times to get everything and then the rest of the pattern is right there and the project except for the very top and the base is all gonna be one quarter inch material and as I said there is a lot of pieces here and I know it's gonna take me a long time to paint it but I really wanted to show off a scroll saw's versatility you guys know I love showing that off as well as different ways to do a pattern and how you vision it in your head but as you can see I've got everything prepped we are only going to stack cut one piece on this entire project and that's going to be the two sides of it and I can't cut out everything to full size yet because I do not know the proper dimensions going forward so once we get the front and back here cut out as well as the two sides which we're going to stack cut I will probably clamp them together to get the accurate measurements to where I can go on and cut out the top and the bottom before we proceed to sanding but since everything is now prepped let's move the camera drill the many pilot holes we need so we can head to the scroll saw and start scrolling and over here on the workbench we are taking the Seiko scrollers drill and drilling out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting and you will note that I have a backer board behind the scroll work to prevent blowout of the pilot holes on the reverse side and there is several interior cuts on this project but as always we will take our time and once all of the pilot holes are drilled we will head over to the scroll saw and begin scrolling and I will begin by cutting out the frame of the aquarium here I am cutting out the front window where you'll be able to see everything and after I get this cut done I will tape an extra piece of one quarter inch plywood to it and go on and cut out the back of the aquarium which will essentially act as our backer board and then we will cut out the two sides and the frame will already be cut out and for all of the scrolling on this project from start to finish I will be using number five ultra reverse tooth blades and they'll cut through all the material exceptionally well with minimal chip out and now I'm beginning to cut out the details and all of the fish that make up this project and there is several internal cuts on this project but also keep in mind that I'm going to finish this project by painting it so you can cut out as much or as little of the details as you want. I really wanted to test my skills when it came to painting and thought this would be an appropriate project for it. But I'm still going to be cutting out a lot of the details. And as always, I am taking my time and letting the blade do the work. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. When I was going through older issues of Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine by Fox Chapel Publishing, this project immediately popped out to me because I myself have a 20 gallon tropical fish tank and I just wanted to have one that I could have out in the workshop year round and just add a splash of color to all of the wood but all in all for all of the scrolling and cutting out the top and base which we'll do when we get done scrolling and sanding everything 
that took me around two hours to do. I was just lost in my world and I had on some good music. And you will see that I have my little red plastic bin over to my left. And I'm putting all of the pieces into it so I can keep track of everything. I didn't want to lose none of these small pieces. And the project also has a lot of veining in it. And that's simply where you just run the scroll saw blade into a cut line and then back it back out while the scroll saw is still running to create a line of detail. And you can see me doing that now to one of the fish. But we will cut this one out here and all of the pieces will be cut out over on the scroll saw. And all of the scroll saw work will be done. And there is a lot of moving parts on this project. I believe all in all there was around 18 to 20 pieces in all. But here I am just laying them out and getting a look at them and preparing for sanding. After I cut out the top and the bottom of the aquarium. And to do that I will just quickly clamp the frame together to get an accurate measurement on a piece of half inch pine that I had milled down earlier. And once I mark that and I'm happy with the size, I will go over to my Rikon table saw and cut it out off camera. But then we will go over to the router table and take a half inch round over and give a round over all the way around to both the top and the base of the aquarium. but then it will finally be time for sanding and I will sand everything with 180 grit Klingspore Woodworking Shop sandpaper and I'll sand the front and back of all the pieces and I sanded the bigger pieces here and for all of the smaller pieces we went back to the workbench with a sanding pad and again 180 grit sandpaper and sanded the front and back of all of the smaller pieces but then it was time to begin painting and I took all the pieces into the train room just because this little table here is at a more comfortable height to paint everything and I'm using basic acrylic craft paints and you can let your imagination run wild here. I just use some bright colors. The tropical fish tank is always very bright and vibrant and again because I did not do every single internal cut that the project did require because I was painting it I could add as much or as little detail as I wanted with the paint but it took me a few days to paint everything it took time for all the pieces to dry before I could flip them over and do the other side it was just when I found a bit of free time or I knew one side had dried I came back in and added more color and detail But after everything was done and I was happy with how everything looked, it would finally be time to head back into the workshop and begin assembly. And as you see the magazine has an assembly diagram and you can go just as is or again let your imagination take over. And I'll be assembling everything with medium grade CA glue and activator. And I'll still use the spring clamps from time to time to make sure everything is held in place. But keep in mind, not all of the painting is done. And again, the CA glue basically cures instantly with the activator, so assembly went fairly quickly. I was just glancing at the magazine but also placing things where I thought they looked nice and that the colors really complemented each other but after every little bit I stepped away for around five minutes to make sure everything was dry and cured on the glue inside and then I would come back and proceed But this was just a fun project to make and really test my skills when it comes to painting. I know I just kind of stain and spray paint a lot of my projects. So this allowed me 
to really let the creative juices flow. And for the base and the top, I just kind of eyeballed it. I didn't take careful measurements or anything. But after gluing these final pieces here in, it was once again time to go back into the train room and do all of the required touch-ups. And anytime you paint wood in small parts like this and then assemble it, you will always chip away some of the paint. It's just the nature of everything. So I tried not to let myself get frustrated if the paint was nicked or anything. And I've done all of the touch-ups here. But once all of the touch-ups were done and this dried around two hours, I took it out into the springtime sunshine and gave it several coats of Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. And when that dried, the project was complete. And here we have the completed friendly fish tank cut out primarily on the scroll saw except for the top and the base which of course was cut out on the table saw and router table and it finished up amazingly well and it's very nice vibrant and colorful once again showing off the scroll saw's versatility to make unique and amazing projects and I love the 3d aspect of this this is why I wanted to tackle this project and showcase it on the channel for you guys a lot of scroll saw projects are just flat pieces that will hang on the wall like over here to my side on the scroll saw display wall this is a piece you can pick up and look at and the more you look at it the more little details you see and it's completely a 360 degree project so that's really really cool I painted it with the same acrylic craft paints that I paint all of the 3d printed models that I make and document over on all my social medias but really really cool again the colors are very vibrant and it just represents the nice springtime and the approaching summertime so really really cool it only took me a around two hours to cut everything out and sand everything the time that I had involved in this project of course was the painting now in the magazine the picture that they had the bigger one was of course cut out of hard and exotic woods and if you went that route and I'll show you the picture momentarily you could probably knock this project out in maybe a long weekend you know or just a few days I of course wanted to go with the painted and colorful route just to practice my painting skills and everything and all the material I used here was one quarter inch material for all the scroll work and then the top and the base here was of course more three quarter inch pine that we cut and milled down but really really cool it took me around a week to make this project whenever I had a little bit of free time I just went back and painted and done more touch up and add more coats of paint to it and you know you can go as wild as you want to with the painting here of course it is the painted route the hardwood route it probably would not take as much time but I'm really really happy with how it came out of course you can easily tell all of the decor the sand at the base of it and all of the individual colorful and beautiful fish I did glue the algae eater there at the very front because in my personal 20 gallon tropical fish tank they are usually stuck to the front of the glass or on the side or just floating around on the rocks or somewhere so I thought that would just be a nice visual to glue him on the front there the algae eaters and then the snails at the bottom that crawl around everywhere in my opinion are some of the funniest and most visual fish in the fish tank you know the others just swim around as fish do but really really cool if you are unable to have live animals in your house or your apartment or wherever you may live this would be a great option to have something if you're an animal lover of course I love the aquatic and maritime lifetime stuff you know like I love sharks I love support and conservation for stuff like that and this is just a nice visual representation that can stay out in the workshop to remind me of the tropical and aquatic life but really really cool everything came out nice and when I put it together I did not know that there was going to be all this negative space here in the front of course when I put it together I went back and I painted it to look like the coral sand and everything if you wanted to and go the extra mile for more visuals you could put some sand down here with like some resin or something or you could even glue in some small seashells or something like that and you could even drill a hole in the back if you wanted and add an LED light to really give it a nice visual representation but really really cool the design that I made 
this pattern from comes from Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine by Fox Chapel Publishing. It is Fall 2018, Issue 72. And all of the full size pattern is available in the pattern pullout section that is included in the magazine. And I want to give a special thanks to Dan Wilkins for designing this beautiful tropical piece. Again, here is the hardwood version. And again, if you went this route, if you had all the exotic woods at your disposal, it would also be beautiful. And you can see in some of the details here. I did not cut out each and every one of the small intricate details. I could have totally done that over on the scroll saw, but I wanted to practice my painting skills, and I hope you guys like the colors and the designs I went with. And then at the bottom here in a smaller picture, there is where I got the inspiration to do the painted design. And then on the following page is, of course, how to assemble it and everything. So really, really cool. Thank you, Fox Chapel Publishing and Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine for amazing content like this. I know this is a little bit of an older magazine from 2018, so it may be harder to find if you would like to tackle this project but I hope you guys like the manner in which I've done it and I thank you guys for following along again it's a little bit more involved project than I typically do here if you would like to see more projects like this please let me know down in the comments below but I had a lot of fun making this project and I hope you guys like watching me make it if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the artisan pirate name as always links to contact me as well as all my social medias will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about I offer this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate take care and I'll see you guys real soon